state government, by the, by the federal government, only because it's producing clean energy. Now, where do you put this panel? Everyone over here knows where does the sun come up from? Everyone else? Very good. Where does the sun set? 
Very good. Which side of from east to west does it pass on the southern side or on the northern side? Southern. Very good. You guys know their stuff. So if we have the sun coming up on the east side over here, the sun is setting on the west side over here, the sun is passing throughout the southern side all along. What we always want to do is make sure that these candles are have a southern orientation and are tilted towards the south to pick up as much of the sun as possible throughout the day. Every so often we do, if you'll take a look at Venus down at the picture, this building is facing perfectly south. When we put those panels up, when we put those panels up, as soon as, as soon as the sun started coming up, it hits that, those panels right away, and it's basically there for most of the day, unless you really have sun, certain parts of the summer. Now, does everyone know that the sun goes up and down different ways in the winter and in the summer? I don't know how many of you are for what? No, no, you do. In the, in the winter, the sun is always going to be much lower than what it's going to be in the summer. In the summer, the sun is always going to be much higher up, and therefore going to give a much stronger impact upon the panels, therefore producing much more electricity. Just for another short little thing, just to know that the state of New Jersey and the federal government of the United States is really, really interested in solar energy. Therefore, they provide a lot of incentives and a lot of rebates for people to go out there and buy this stuff. So any system you put up, typically, 55, about 55% 55 of the system is already paid for before you finish putting it up between the state of New Jersey and the federal government. So really today, it's not even such an expensive thing to go in there and put out solar energy. And in the long run, it ends up saving people a lot, a lot of money. Any questions by anybody? So my students actually had a few questions. First of all, let's say um, there was snow on the panel. If there was snow on the panel, then it would not work for those few hours of day that the panel is snowed up. What's, what's important to know is that whenever it's snowing, whenever you put in solar, let's forget about snow. What happens if it's raining? Or well, what happens if it turns night every night? So solar energy actually only produces when the sun's producing. There are certain systems where you can take the sun and you, where you can take the solar uh, energy that's produced and store it in batteries and they use it throughout the night. Most systems that are produced do not work that way. Most systems work only when the sun is shining and the rest of the time you have to rely on the regular JCP and that will work in your uh, providers. Um, another question I have is, so let's say we have a very hot week, a very sunny week, well, how long will that store uh, for the clarity of the sun? Well, I again, mean, most systems do not work in storing. What happens is, if you're producing energy and you're producing more energy than what you really happen to need, in such a case, the, the, extra, the excess energy will be sent back to JCPNL and they will buy that energy off you and therefore you don't have a credit on your electric bill, which you will use up at night times or let's say during real hot summer days when your air conditioner is blasting away and you're using too much uh, energy and you can't provide it. Anything else? Now, how do we know how much shading is going to be producing, how much shading there isn't? Is it really a problem? Maybe only in the summer, and maybe only in the winter, and after the summer. We have this uh, camera over here. It's called a camera. We can actually try to take some type of picture with it. And just to give you an idea, this is called a solar metric. Uh, let's take a solar metric. And we're just going to, okay, we're going to put over here a new, uh, all right, so we're not, we're not going to, just, uh, it's very hard to show this to all the kids. You can pick up which area you are in, so we're going to pick Long Branch, uh, Long Branch in Jersey, as the area that we're in. Um, Boys, it looks like a GPS, if you guys want to It is, it has a GPS location. It's a big part of it. Yes, it has, it does, there's really not much you can see from over here, but this is, what, but I'll show you something very interesting in a moment. Oh, they may take about 20 seconds to pull this up. Oh, now we're going to take a picture of the uh, sky. Now, very important when you take this picture is the camera has to be lined on towards south. All right, everyone sees the, the compass on it. The compass has walls. Now we try to line it up perfectly south. Now, if you don't want to come a little bit closer, right over here. Okay, I'm just going to show you what this camera can do. I mean, obviously, we're not going to come up Just stand right over here. Okay. This just took a picture. He was on the side of the picture, as everybody saw. And if you take a look at the picture, what do you see? I see myself. There you go. This camera goes down to the side of it. 
What did it do? Okay, everybody say. I'm going to. Everybody say. I'm going to take it around the show very quickly. If okay. Yeah, yeah, take it. The, the, the point is that this is a camera that takes pictures, not just of what's straight in front of it or what's right on top of it. It Don't really goes around to all the sides of the thing, and therefore you can really pick up. For sugar. It picks up all around the house. You can really pick what? For sugar. For sugar. You don't know if there's any problems there. It's coming handy. You can probably pick up too far. But technically speaking, it also has a very interesting feature. When you can erase, let's just hold it up and thank you. You can erase that tree. Ideas of how many solar energy you can based on the Boys over there, I'm going to show. What? Oh. Down to down to down.